Have you ever wondered what your skin type truly is? Or do you have concerns about redness, hyperpigmentation, or dryness? Well, you're not alone. Every day, people around the world grapple with similar questions, and the answers aren't always simple. But that's where we come in. Today, we're diving headfirst into the world of skin types and conditions. We'll be shedding light on the differences between oily, dry, sensitive, and combination skin. And we won't stop there. We'll also discuss how to address specific skin concerns, from the redness that can make you feel self-conscious to the dryness that can be downright uncomfortable. We'll share expert advice, tips, and tricks to help you better understand your skin and take control of your skincare routine. Because at the end of the day, knowing your skin type can be a game changer for your skincare routine. So, are you ready to decode your skin? First things first, understanding your skin type is crucial to effective skincare. So, let's start with the basics and get to know the four major skin types, oily, dry, sensitive, and combination. These are the fundamental categories that dermatologists use to classify skin, and having a good grasp of your skin type is the first step in developing a skincare routine that's tailored to your unique needs. Let's kick things off with oily skin. Now, oily skin is characterized by an overproduction of sebum, the natural oil our skin produces to keep it moisturized and protected. This excess sebum can leave your skin looking shiny and may lead to clogged pores and acne. But don't despair, oily skin has its perks too, like natural moisture and slower aging. Next up, we have dry skin. This is the polar opposite of oily skin. Dry skin produces less sebum than it needs, leading to a lack of moisture that can make your skin feel rough and look dull. Dry skin can be prone to tightness, flaking, and may even develop fine lines and cracks. But remember, every cloud has a silver lining, and with the right care, dry skin can look beautifully matte and even. On to our third skin type, sensitive skin. This one's a little trickier to define because it can vary greatly between individuals. Generally, sensitive skin tends to react easily to products or environmental factors, leading to redness, itching, or even breakouts. If your skin often feels uncomfortable after using skincare products or being in certain environments, you might fall into the sensitive skin category. And last but not least, we have combination skin, which as the name suggests, is a combination of two or more of the above skin types. Typically, someone with combination skin might have an oily T-zone, that's the forehead, nose, and chin, and drier cheeks. It's like getting the best, or sometimes the trickiest, of both worlds. So how do you identify your skin type? It can be as simple as paying attention to how your skin behaves. Does it often feel greasy? You might have oily skin. Is it usually dry or flaky? That's a sign of dry skin. Does it react negatively to products or environments? Sensitive skin might be your category. And if it's a little bit of all, you might be dealing with combination skin. Remember though, skin type can change over time or with environmental factors, like climate or season. So it's a good idea to reassess your skin type every so often to ensure you're providing it with the best care possible. There you have it, the four main skin types. Now let's dive into some common skin concerns and how to address them. Scene script. Is your skin often red or inflamed? You're not alone. This is a common concern experienced by many, and today we're going to delve into the causes and solutions for skin redness. First, let's understand the why behind the redness. Your skin can appear red or inflamed for a variety of reasons. It could be due to a temporary reaction to a product, an underlying skin condition like rosacea or eczema, or even an indication of internal inflammation. Sometimes even weather changes can trigger skin redness. Now, on to the solutions. The first and most important step in reducing skin redness is to identify and eliminate any potential irritants. This could be a specific skincare product, an ingredient, or even environmental factors like extreme temperatures or harsh wind. Next, consider incorporating skincare products that are specifically formulated to soothe and calm inflamed skin. Look for products with ingredients like aloe vera, chamomile, and green tea. These are known for their anti-inflammatory properties and can help reduce redness and soothe irritated skin. Also, don't underestimate the power of a good moisturizer. Hydrated skin is happy skin. A moisturizer not only keeps your skin hydrated but also strengthens your skin's barrier function, which can help protect against irritants and reduce redness. Lifestyle changes can also play a significant role in managing skin redness. Drinking plenty of water, maintaining a balanced diet, and ensuring you get enough sleep can all contribute to healthier, less reactive skin. Lastly, always remember to protect your skin from the sun. 
Sun exposure can worsen redness and lead to further skin damage. So make sure to apply a broad spectrum sunscreen every day, even when it's cloudy. Remember, redness can be a sign of irritation, so always listen to your skin. If redness persists despite your best efforts, it may be time to consult a dermatologist. After all, your skin is unique and finding the right solution for you may require a bit of trial and error. But with patience and consistency, you can achieve a calm, clear, and glowing complexion. Now onto a concern many of us have, hyperpigmentation. Hyperpigmentation, a common, usually harmless condition where patches of skin become darker than the surrounding skin, can be a source of consternation for many. But worry not, my friends, we're here to shed some light on this shadowy subject. Hyperpigmentation is primarily caused by an excess production of melanin, the pigment that gives our skin its color. This overproduction can be triggered by several factors, including sun exposure, hormonal changes, and even inflammation or skin injuries. Let's start with sun exposure, the most common culprit. You see, when our skin is exposed to the sun, it produces more melanin to protect itself. That's why we tan. But sometimes, this process can go into overdrive, leading to hyperpigmentation. That's where sunscreen comes in. It's not just for beach days, folks. Regular use of a broad spectrum sunscreen with a sun protection factor of at least 30 can help prevent and manage hyperpigmentation. Now, if hormonal changes are the cause, as with melasma, often seen in pregnant women or those on birth control, it can be a bit trickier. Consulting with a dermatologist is usually the best course of action. They can recommend specific treatments or changes to your medication to help manage the condition. And what about hyperpigmentation caused by inflammation or skin injuries? This is often seen in conditions like acne or eczema. Here, the best defense is a good offense. Addressing the underlying skin condition with the right skincare routine can help prevent hyperpigmentation from occurring in the first place. But for those already dealing with hyperpigmentation, there's hope. There are a multitude of products out there, from retinoids to vitamin C serums, that can help lighten these dark patches. But remember, consistency is key. It can take several weeks, sometimes even months, for results to show. So there you have it. Hyperpigmentation, while common, is not unbeatable. With patience and the right products, hyperpigmentation can be managed. Scene script. Dry skin can be a real challenge, but it doesn't have to be. It's a common concern, but with the right approach, it can be managed effectively. So let's dive in and explore some tips to help you grapple with dry skin. First and foremost, hydration is essential, not just externally, but internally too. Drinking plenty of water every day helps maintain your skin's moisture balance. So think of your water bottle as your best friend and keep it close to you. Now let's talk about skincare products. Look for those that contain ingredients known for their hydrating properties. Hyaluronic acid is a standout. It's a substance naturally produced by our bodies and it can hold up to a thousand times its weight in water. Imagine the hydration boost it can give your skin. Glycerin is another ingredient to keep an eye out for. It attracts moisture to your skin and helps keep it there. Next up, let's discuss some lifestyle changes. One of the most effective is to take shorter, cooler showers. While a long hot shower can feel great, it can also strip your skin of its natural oils. So try to keep your showers short and sweet. Moreover, consider investing in a humidifier. This can be especially beneficial in the colder months when indoor heating can dry out your skin. A humidifier helps maintain a healthy level of humidity in your home, keeping your skin happy. Finally, don't forget the importance of a healthy diet. Foods rich in omega-3 fatty acids like fish and walnuts can help keep your skin moisturized from the inside out. Remember, dry skin doesn't happen overnight and it won't disappear overnight either. It takes consistent care and attention. But with the right approach and a little patience, you can improve your skin's hydration levels and overall health. Hydration is key for dry skin, so keep that water bottle handy. And remember, your skin is unique and it deserves to be treated as such. So listen to what it's telling you and adjust your routine as necessary. So we've covered a lot today, haven't we? From the depths of understanding skin types to addressing some common skin concerns, we've journeyed far and wide in the realm of skin health. Remember, it's not just about following a trend, it's about connecting all the facets of your health and beauty. We began by diving into the four different skin types, oily, dry, sensitive, and combination. Knowing your skin type is the first step to maintaining its health. For instance, those with oily skin may find that they're more prone to acne and larger pores. On the other hand, People with dry skin often face flakiness and tightness. 
Combination skin, as the name suggests, is a mix of both, while sensitive skin can react to a variety of triggers. Understanding your skin type helps you select the right products and develop a skincare routine that works for you. It's not about striving for perfection, but about nurturing your skin to be at its best. We then addressed specific skin concerns, starting with redness. This is often linked to conditions like rosacea and eczema, and it's important to consult with a professional to get the right treatment. We also explored some home remedies like using green tea or oatmeal masks, which can soothe the skin and reduce irritation. Next, we tackled the issue of hyperpigmentation. This is when parts of your skin darken due to an excess of melanin. We discussed various treatments from topical creams to professional procedures like chemical peels and laser therapy. But remember, it's essential to protect your skin from the sun, which can exacerbate hyperpigmentation. Lastly, we delved into the problem of dryness. Dry skin can be a result of environmental factors like harsh weather or even your diet. Hydration, both inside and out, plays a crucial role in combating dryness. Moisturizers, hydrating serums, and drinking plenty of water are all part of the solution. But let's not forget, taking care of your skin is a journey, not a destination. It's about listening to your skin and responding to its needs, not just following a one-size-fits-all routine. So what's next? Well, we're excited to share that our upcoming video will showcase another facet of the entire woman. We'll continue to explore the world of skin health and beauty, providing you with the knowledge and tools to nurture your skin. Remember, your skin is unique and deserves care tailored to its needs. Together, we can embrace healthier skin.